you and Mandy seem to have built like a friendship over the years. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. At this point, have you started like babysitting for Gus? I have not, I have not. I mean, Gus comes to set quite a bit. So when he's there, you know, grabbing his feet and pinching his cheeks and, you know, doing what, what I can. He's such a beautiful, well-behaved, happy kid. Um, but no, I haven't, uh, I haven't offered my services to Mandy so she and Taylor can take a night off. I haven't done that yet. Doing this series and like sometimes like seeing Mandy and her family, does that make you think about like fatherhood for yourself someday? No, not at all. Um, it, it, funny, I'm sorry, sorry to be so blunt with it. I think, of course, you know, there's, uh, if I think about family and I think about fatherhood and that, I kind of look to my mom and dad. The show definitely like reaffirms a lot of how I was raised. I think there's a lot of my own father in Jack that I kind of put into Jack. And I see in my close friends, the, the fathers that they are very much reflected in the character that I play in real life, but it doesn't make me rush or want to run into uh, fatherhood uh, any more or less than I had before in life. Um, we'll see, we'll see what happens uh, down the road. But right now I think I'm, I'm comfor comfortably um, not a father. I'm okay with it. Congratulations on the final season of This Is Us. Does it just make you yeah. cry? Yeah. Uh, no, actually it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't make me cry. I'm sure once I get toward the end, I know Mandy and I have talked about it a little bit. Once we get toward the end, I'm sure there will be a lot more emotion. But yeah. for now, like we're kind of in the thick of it. We crossed a midway point. We are, Mandy and I plus Justin are directing three episodes that are all intermingled, intertwined, um, really have to communicate a lot while we're filming it. So we're kind of in the middle of that. We're just, we're kind of in the thick of it. I've got a funeral to plan and a lifetime of loose ends to tie up. Look, it's just, it's better if I do this alone. Dan Fogelman has actually said that Tuesday's episode may be the best of the entire series and a love letter to Jack. Like, what can you tell us about it? Oh boy, uh, high praise from, uh, from the boss man, Dan Fogelman. Um, it's, it's a heavy episode. You know, I think Jack has kind of taken a bit of a back seat the last couple seasons. You know, we learned so much about the man seasons one and two and three that going into four and five, he kind of settled back into this very supporting character, I think, for a lot of the kids' storylines, which is really wonderful. But this one is right back to Jack and learning uh, how he deals with loss, uh, the loss of a parent. Uh, Grandma Marilyn passed away, and we're going to... Miss her very much. Yes. The moments that will ultimately break him as a person that his wife is there to support. So it's a, it's a pretty big episode for Jack, but I think for the show also, it's just a continuation of, of what we like to do, which is get people to think about the now, those moments where maybe someone crosses your mind and you should pick the phone up and make a phone call or uh, spend some time, make some time, things like that, because at the end of the day, when someone passes away or someone's gone, it's it's ultimately too late. I hear you say, so you, you are directing one of the episodes mm -hmm. this season, right? And you've directed before. Is uh, Like when you direct, are those like one of the only times that you actually get to see your other co-stars aside from like Mandy and some <laughs> of the young actors? <laughs> Very much, yeah, because I never get to see anybody. I mean, you know, Sterling, Chrissy, Justin, and I have had a few moments on camera together, yeah. but I mostly see them when we do press, which yeah. which is, you know, heartbreaking. Like, I'm not in on the inside jokes. Like, they have their own language and everything. They speak all together, and I'm literally just, like, guy on the sidelines, like, what are they talking about? And I check, <laughs> I check in with Mandy, too, and, like, Mandy, God bless her, she's like, She's like my connection to that present day uh, younger or adult storyline. And I'm just like, wait, what, what happened? What? I'm just always trying to play catch up. So yeah, so I do get to spend a little more time with the adult kids when I am directing. But I think they're even looking at me like, what are you doing here? And we love the beard. Is the beard gonna stay around for a while? The beard is, it's, it's on for the moment. It's on for the moment. It's, you know, we have such wonderful hair and makeup teams that when Jack is jumping from one set to the next, from one decade to the next, we're able to take it off or put it on. But if I can have my own beard, it's nicer to work in. Here she is, boys! And you were clean shaven for your work on Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. I'm sure that was- Yes, I was. 
yeah, yeah that yeah. was well, a blast well, I saw a photo of you and Midge and a, bou a bouquet of flowers. Is your character her love interest? I mean, I think it's pretty indicative if, if a man is giving a woman some flowers on the, sh you know, on the on the park steps. Probably there's some romance that's bound to happen or, or intending to happen. Um, whether we get there or not, I think people are going to have to watch the show and, and see what happens between the two. But mm -hmm. it was it was a pleasure. To, to reunite with Amy and Dan, as well as to work with my friend, Rachel. You know, they've got such a wonderful show. And and when they called and asked like, hey, could you be a part of this? I was like, absolutely. It, it would be it would be my honor. It'd be a lot of fun to do. I'm glad that you and Rachel get to work together too. I'm sure she's great mm -hmm. to work with. And are we gonna see you Phenomenal. in like a more permanent role now that Miss ah. Us is ending? Now that now that This Is Us is ending and Jack is truly dead, like, Maisel, maybe we shall see. We don't know. I mean, that is the you know that's an interesting thing about wrapping up a show that we've been on for so long is the idea of like okay, let me peek my head out of the cave and see what else is going on in the world. So I don't know. Maybe it's a return to Maisel. Maybe it's a new show. Maybe it's a new limited series. Maybe it's some movies. But um, I'm sure whatever comes next, uh, it'll be pretty exciting. I know you got a lot a lot on your plate right now. Well, especially mm -hmm. with all the headlines about your shorts <laughs> it's like the story keeps going <laughs> at what point in time are you going to roll out a shorts line and just capitalize on all of it i tell you that's the thing people keep asking me people like i'm no like legit like companies are like hey can we do this can we do that and i just I haven't I, you know i'm an actor i'm not a fashion icon i'm nothing like that i think i just got caught in a moment um after a nice uh, heavy workout with my trainer jason where it was just kind of like all right well those are my thighs, that's what I got. And shorts or not, you know, that's uh, that's that's what I can uh, be responsible for. So um, I don't know, maybe we'll see some we'll see something. I don't know. Yeah, something yeah, I hope maybe. So. I don't if you know. Answer, if you answer one of those companies and actually create a line, what would you name it? Like Milo's thigh highs? Like what? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Um I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I, you, you know what? You are in charge. You are naming it. You are now part of the company. You're part of the company. It. Here we go. Yep. You are yep. CFO, CMO right here. I've got you, my Rad. Right. Jess, you're in. You're in. You're in. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.